What's up, good people? Christian Allaire here from Christian Allaire Yoga, coming to you live from Huntington Beach, and welcome to my living room. Welcome to my channel. So, I got a funky, fresh flow for you today, about 30 minute practice, and I um, uh, really would like to, to, to expand your horizons a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking, not promising, but I'm thinking that we, we might want to um, strengthen on a little bit of chaturanga movements today, maybe moving towards a little chin stand because chaturanga arms are really crucial for you to learn to do chin stands, strengthen to stabilize, etc., etc. So with that, let's roll it right into our practice. Child's pose. Child's pose. Pose the child with the knees mat width distant, big toes to touch. Let the forehead settle onto the floor. And of course, the breath flows in and flows out. We take just a moment or two here to find some grounding, some grounding to the floor. Uh, the grounding aspect creates harmony and sets the tone and sets the conditions for really successful flow. So as you guys know, I'm an excitable guy, right? Especially when I start these videos, I'm very excited. A lot of rajas, a lot of energy here. So for me, taking a child's pose to ground myself, uh, to calm myself a little bit in order to lead you through the flow is super important for me. And um, it might be like that for you as well. <sighs> Okay, very nicely done. Feel nice and grounded here. If you need to take a couple of more seconds grounding, feel free to hit the pause button on the video and then get yourself grounded and then catch up. So we're, we are now in tabletop pose with the fingers spun towards the knees. We're gonna warm up the wrists a little bit here before we pile some weight into the wrists. So with the fingers facing the knees, you rock it back and forth, raising the heels of the hands off the mat. Just feel in the front of the wrist, the front of the forearms, get that nice stretch. Okay, now we're gonna rotate the hands so they face opposite. Left hand faces left, right hand faces to the right, and then we start to move back and forth to the left and to the right. Once again, just getting warmed up here a little bit. Now with your hands in this direction, we're gonna take a cow facing pose. Inhale, look up. Cat pose, keep the hands spun in opposite directions, pulling through chin, chest. Inhale, change, breath in. Cat pose, round, hollow, chin, chest. One more set, inhale, look up, butt lifts, head lifts. And change it out, round, hollow, chin to the chest. Okay, let's walk the hands to the top of the mat. Curl the toes underneath, spread the fingers wide. Downward facing dog. Long dog, really stretch out in opposite directions. Push the floor away in opposing directions. Hands forward, feet back. Reach and stretch. Keep your feet where they are. Walk the hands to the feet. And we'll take ragdoll pose. Hands to the elbows. Drop the head towards the mat. Hands behind the back, lace it up, palm to palm grip, halfway lift, Uyana Banda, crown forward, pull the shoulders into the back, and exhale, bow forward. Take the hands away from the low back, sacrum, palms gripping towards one another, rinsing out the shoulders, drop the head. Hands to the floor, relax. Hands to the hips, draw the elbows together, engage the core, come halfway up. So you're looking at the floor down 
towards the feet here, feet grounded into the mat. Squeeze the low belly, flex into the back if you can, so you're stabilizing the low back. Keep squeezing the elbows together. And then slowly we come up with a flat spine, but the back and the muscles of the belly are engaged to protect the low back. Send the arms up. A lot of reach here. Breathe in. Forward fold. Exhale. Drop the hands to the floor. I'm going to take a halfway lift. Inhale. Grow long. Lengthen. Top of a plank. Fingers to the top of the mat. Awesome work. Take a full breath in. Let's lower halfway down. Pause. Lower all the way down. Cobra pose. Untuck the toes. Lift the heart. Lift the chin. Chin to the floor. Relax. Child's pose. Knees wide, ground. Tabletop pose. Okay, you're gonna send your left foot back. Send your left foot back, lift the chin up just a little bit, and then bend the elbows, drop about halfway down. And press it back up, bring the left knee to the nose, round it in. Re-extend the left leg, chaturanga arms, bend the elbows, you're pitching forward, halfway down. And then press back up and as you do, bring the left knee into the nose, round. Kick it back one more time. Chaturanga arms, left knee to the nose as you straighten your arms. Kick your left foot back, set your left knee down. Other side, right knee extends back, kick through, flex the belly in. Okay, now we bend the elbows. Here we are, chaturanga arms. Right knee to the nose, round it in. Send it back, bend the elbows. You're getting the pattern here. Straighten the arms, knee to nose. Send it back one more time. Bend the elbows, chaturanga arms. Right knee to the nose. Send your right knee down, tabletop to downward dog. Hips press back and up. Walk the feet to the hands. Ragdoll pose. Drop in. Right hand to the floor in front of your right toes. Left arm to the sky. Twist. Lift up on the left toes. Lift up on the left toes. Look at the left thumb. Bow forward. Left hand down. Left hand in front of the right, in front of the left toe, right arm to the sky. We'll float the right toes up off the mat. Turn the head, look at the right thumb. Bow in, fold. Toe heel, the feet together. You're at or near the top of the mat. Bring the hands to the hip points again. Core engaged, knees slightly bent, halfway up. Keep drawing the elbows in towards one another, looking at the toes. Flat back to mountain pose. Send the arms up. Big breath, reach. Yogi bow forward. Send the left leg back, set the left knee down. Take your hands to your right knee and interlace. Palms into the right leg, push the knee forward as you sink into the left hip, the chin. Awesome work, keep your hands laced up. Take the hands above the head, pistol grip style. Exhale the hands to the floor. Take the right arm to the sky, easy twist. Exhale the right hand to the inside of the right knee, right leg, and shift back, half splits. Your hands are on the inside of the right leg. Okay, let's bend back into the right leg. We're gonna come into what's called active squat. Left foot's gonna come down side to the right. The booty sits down. You're not all the way into the yogi squat. Chest is parallel to the floor. Now we slowly start to lean back, arching the spine back a little bit. We're here for three, two. Stand up to mountain, hands to the heart center. Exhale. Inhale, sweeps the arms back to the sky. Back to active squat, booty back. Chest is facing the floor. 
Set the hands down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back of the mat. Right knee sets down. Walk the hands to the left knee, interlace. And we press into the left knee. Feel the front of the right hip get that lovely stretch. We start to lift the chin as we sink a little deeper. Steeple grip, we want to take the hands up and back. Lean it up and back. Breathe in. Exhale the hands to the inside of your left foot. Shift the booty back for your half splits. Hands are on the inside of the left. Okay, we're gonna move into that active squat here. Bending into the left leg, we take the right foot to the outside of the right wrist. Now you're not squatting all the way down. Extend the butt back, move the arms forward. Really firm it up here. Start to lean it back. We pause here. Three, two, one. Stand up, hands heart center, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, mountain sweep the arms up. Active squat, butt goes back, hands reach forward. Set the hands down onto the floor, high plank, step it back, low plank, empty out. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, down dog, knees to the floor, and now you're back to tabletop pose. You're going to extend your right foot back here, so your right toes are back, your left knee is down, fingers nice and wide, okay? In three, you're gonna bring your left knee into the nose. Three, two, one. Lift the left knee into the nose, round or hollow. Send your left foot back, low plank. Two more. Knee to the nose, round, low plank. Knee to the nose, round, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Left foot's gonna step forward, right knee sets down. Take your left arm up, twist it open. Exhale, left hand to the floor, step back, top of a plank. Low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Release the knees to the mat, tabletop. Left foot, kicks back, toes are tucked. Hands underneath the shoulders, firm the core. In three, it's gonna be knee to the chest, just like we did before, three. Two, one, right knee to the nose, round and hollow, clamshell the body here, low plank, send the right foot back. Two more, knee to the chest, low plank, knee to the chest. Now, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky, step it through, runner's lunge. Power lunge, take the hands behind you. Crown forward, hands back. Warrior two. Left hand glides behind you. Right arm forward. Big breath in. Empty out. Big breath in. Side angle lunge. Right forearm, thigh. Left arm over your ear. One breath to reverse the warrior. Inhale. Come to low plank. Exhale. Low plank. Now inhale to upward dog. Exhale to down face dog. Inhale a high plank. Left knee to the nose, round and dome. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Runner's lunge, left foot comes forward. Now you're framing your left foot. Squeeze the belly in. Power lunge. Extend the arms behind you. Crown forward. Shoulders engaged. Belly to spine. Inhale the warrior. Two, up and around. Beautiful. Breathe in. 
sink a little deeper. Breathe in. Sink a little deeper. Side angle the lunge, forearm to thigh. Right arm, send it up and over. Runner's lunge, hands down. Step back to down dog, left foot comes back. Empty out the lungs. Inhale to the top of the toes, breathe in. Bend the knees, look between the thumbs, float it up. Beautiful, halfway lift, blow it up. Exhale, fold. Stand up with your right knee lifted. Stork pose, send the right heel forward. Moving into funky chair, you're gonna draw your right ankle over your left knee. Send the arms forward, booty back. Arms forward, booty back. Stand it up, stork pose, right foot lifts. High lunge, right foot comes back, left foot is forward, arms are lifted. Big breath comes in, hands to the heart center, breath out, inhale to lengthen, exhale, crescent lunge revolve, left turn, right elbow outside of the knee, palms touch. Runner's lunge, frame the foot, keep your left hand on the mat, send your right arm forward. In three, we come up to warrior two. Three, two, one. Warrior two, spin it flat. Glide into reverse warrior. Glide into extended side angle. Glide into reverse warrior. Glide into low plank, exhale. Hands down, foot back. Big breath to up dog, down dog. Empty out. Inhale to the toes. Bend the knees, look between the thumbs. Float it up. Halfway lift, please. Bow in. Stand it up, left knee lift, stork pose. Take the left foot forward. Bend the left leg. Funky chair. Place the left ankle on top of the right knee. Really getting into the hips here. Butt back, arms forward. Butt back, arms forward. Stand it up, stork pose. Kick the left foot forward. Slow bell, land your high lunge. Left foot is going to be back, right foot is going to be forward. Belly to spine, fire up the back leg, breathe in. Hands to the heart center, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn right, revolving crescent lunge. Palms touch, turn your heart. Release the hands to the floor. Frame your right foot, runner's lunge. Right hand stays on the floor. It's locking in the right knee. So push the arm and the knee into one another. Send the left arm extended forward. We come to warrior two. Three, two, one. Lift up, warrior two. Breathe out. Inhale to reverse the warrior. Breathe in. Exhale, extend the side angle lunge. Inhale to reverse warrior, breathe in. Exhale, high to low plank. Right foot sends it back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, breathing out. Beautiful work. Walk the hands to the feet. Peace sign fingers to the big toes. Halfway lift. Yogi bow.
Release the fingers, downward facing dog walk. The hands at the top of the mat. Beautiful work. Knees to the floor, tabletop pose. Here we are, your tabletop pose. Send the right foot back. Okay, curl the left toes underneath. And in one motion, you're gonna lift your left knee off and bring the right knee to the nose. So the right leg is lifted. In three, we'll do this. Three, two, one. Right knee to the nose as the left comes up off the floor. Reverse engineer. Left knee comes down, send the right foot back. Again, right knee to the nose, lift the left leg up, round and hollow, clamshell style. Set the left knee down, kick your right foot back. Now, one more time. Knee to the nose, lifting up the left. Three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. Open the hip, fan the toes, flip the dog. Hips up to the sky. Place the right hand behind the skull as a modifier, as an option. Really peel open the chest. Release, low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Down dog, empty out. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Give your wrists a little bit of a break. Step the palms underneath the feet. Gorilla. Release out of Gorilla, down dog. Walk the fingers to the top of the mat. Beautiful work. Fingers wide, feet split, hip width. All is working. Set the knees down, tabletop. Here we are, good people. Okay, we're gonna send the left leg back. Extend through the left leg, curl the right toes. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time it's just the other side. It's going to be knee to the nose, left side, as the right knee comes off the floor. Three, two, one. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Right knee down, left foot back. Knee to the nose, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Right knee down, left foot back. Last one, knee to the nose. Right knee lifts, hug it in. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky, open the hip, flip the dog. Hips to the sky. Release, low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Set the knees down onto the hips. Excuse me, knees on the mat, hips to the heels, child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out, reset, reground. Now our next move, we're gonna to work towards a chin stand. And I'll just verbally explain it. We're, we're going to start out in a three-legged dog with the right leg lifted. Then we're gonna come forward into a chaturanga arms. With the right leg lifted, there's gonna be a big old arch in the back. So you wanna bring your weight so far forward that you can then dip your chin down, touch the floor. Now be aware that your shoulders dumping forward and locking the elbows in, no bueno, no bueno. So you're working towards learning to strengthen the body, whether your feet actually lift up off the mat, eh, it's not germane really. If you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, you can just watch first time and then you can start to work back towards the ideal. But a lot of the things we've been doing here with the knee to the nose is to strengthen the body in order to do the chin stand. Downward facing dog, take the hips off, up to the sky, then he's off the mat. And then let's bring your right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog. 
I mean lift it up as high as you possibly can. Now you come forward to a top of a plank, right leg is lifted, I'm lifting my chin up, and then we make chaturanga arms, and we drop the chin down and lift both feet up off the floor. And release, left foot down, right leg comes to the sky. Okay, right foot comes back down, that wasn't that bad, was it? Oh, okay, we have the other side to do, right? That's the beauty of the body. We have a chance to do it all over again and practice. Left leg comes to the sky, lift it up. Come forward to the top of the plank, remember arching the back, lifting the chin, chaturanga arms, chin to the floor, right leg up. Right foot down, press back up, three-legged dog. Beautiful, left foot comes down to the mat. Awesome work, you're back in downward facing dog. Walk about halfway up the mat, and then sit your butt down onto the floor. Roll onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest, okay? Side to side sway a little bit here so you can release the low back. Release them out of the low back. Send the feet up to the sky. Interlace the hands behind your skull. Elbows stay to each side. 10 times, pulse the chest up towards the feet. Up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let the shoulders come back down, keep the feet lifted. Now we're gonna add the hip lift at the top. Lift the chest, squeeze the hips. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, down. Four, down, five, down, really squeeze in, six, squeeze in, seven, squeeze in, eight, nine, ten, knees to chest, squeeze the knees to the chest. Ooh, nicely done. Nicely done, team. Love it, love it so. Rock and roll. Vinyasa, grab the backs of the knees, come back and forth. Do that a couple times, plant the hands, chaturanga, shoot it back, land. Upward dog, in breath, downward dog, empty out. Okay, left leg lifts to the sky, lift it up. Left foot comes to the outside of the left wrist, okay? From here we draw the right knee down, place the left hand on the inside of the knee, Push your knee away, open up. Okay, stay here, or draw the right heel in towards the tailbone. With your left hand, grab the top of the foot. Turn and lift the chest to the sky. Now start to pull the left heel in towards your tailbone. Fire up the right quadricep. Okay, release. Toe heel the left foot across the floor. Half pigeon, dropping the left shin towards the floor. Stay upright or walk your hands forward for sleepy pigeon. Let's release, hands to the floor, curl the right toes. Use your core, lift the left knee into the nose, send the left leg back and up. Let's move your leg around a little bit, get the blood flow into the hip socket. And when you're ready, we're coming back to down dog. The left foot is down, right foot is down. Take the right leg up, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Pause, check your alignment, set the left knee down, right hand to the inside of the knee, right toes face about 45 degrees towards the upper right hand corner of the mat, and you push the knee away so you're on the outer edge of the right foot. 
Left hip is sinking down and forward. Right hip is coming up and back. So you're externally rotating, at least definitely on the right side. And then if you got more range, then you take the left heel towards the tailbone, grab the foot, open it up. Pulling the heel in towards your left tailbone. Fire up that quadricep. Coming back through the center. I'm gonna toe heel the right foot across the floor. Moving into your half pigeon. Half pigeon, walk the hands towards the hips. And then sleepy pigeon. And here comes Oliver, if you guys, I've never introduced you to my little dog. His name is Oliver. And he's coming in to say hello. He's now gonna be a YouTube star. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy, it's cool. Oliver, say hello to everybody. Go see mama. Okay, coming up onto your hands. Curl the left toes underneath. I want you to bring your right knee into your nose. Pull it in, pull it in. Send the right leg back to the sky, lift it up. Mm -hmm. Awesome work. Okay, right foot sets down. Let's bring the knees down onto the mat. And you're going to bring your feet out wide. Nice wide angled Hold here, feet come apart, feet come apart, okay, send the arms up to the sky, breathe in, exhale, fold it, and the hands right out in front, walk your hands forward, it's okay buddy, Coming back up, coming back up. Walk your hands over towards the right side. Peace sign, fingers to the right big toe. Drop the right elbow down. Left arm extends, reach up. Send the left arm over the eardrum. Left hand to the right foot. Turn open. Okay, release. We're gonna bring the hands up and we're gonna go over to the left side. So peace sign fingers to your left big toe. Drop the left elbow down. Send the right arm up. Send the right arm over your eardrum. Okay, release. Now, taking your right hand behind you, behind your right hip, you're gonna come into Fallen Star. So you just lift the hips up to the sky. Take your left arm up and around, up and around. Fallen Star, open it up. Now slowly dip into your left knee. You wanna bring your left butt cheek toward your left heel. Feel that stretch. And then re-extend back into Fallen Star and then set your butt back down. Take your left hand behind you, right at the left hip, fall and star. Now the right arm is lifting up. Press the hips up. Couple of circles with the right arm. And then from here, we bend into the right hip, into the right heel. Feel that. Re-extend back into fall and star. 
Beautiful. Set the hips back down. Okay, let's bring your feet together. Feet together. Setting up for your seated forward fold. Hips. Arms extend up. Breathe in and fold in. releasing out and we're going to move into reverse tabletop so bring the hands behind you bend the knees soles of the feet to the floor with the feet hip width press it up drop the head back and hips back down to the floor coming onto your back knees into the chest Drag the knees into the chest. Bring your knees side to side, your feet side to side. Bump your hips slightly to the left and let the knees fall to the right. And you're in a twist. center, knees side by side, feet side by side, bump your hip to the right, and let your knees fall to the left side. seated position. Draw the hands to the center of the chest, thumbs to the heart, heart to the thumbs. The higher self in me honors the higher self in you. Thank you so very much for this practice today. Namaste. Please go ahead and open up your eyes. So I want to thank you very much. So much gratitude for you all out there checking in with these videos. Super inspiring to me. Hope they inspire you. And I want to do a special shout out to those who have been sending me money. Some Venmo cash, some PayPal cash. So it's super appreciative, uh, at least on my end. So thank you so much for doing that. If you found value in this video, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you like and give me some comments. And with that, my name is Christian Allaire, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.